Boom Shakalaka, the two worst charts and the 10 best charts for Bitcoin this year. Happy New Year, everybody. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Happy New Year to everyone. Today's video, we're taking a look at some of the worst charts for Bitcoin. And if you want just a little bit of a happy ending to the beginning of your new year, some of the best charts for Bitcoin this year year before we get into it guys make sure to like subscribe click the notification bell come join us over on twitter at the crypto love push that like button now today fear at 26 up from yesterday's 25 we are back into regular fear from extreme fear but down from last week the overall market sideways today bitcoin at 16529 ethereum at 1193 bnb at 244 xrp 33 cents dogecoin 6 cents cardano 24 cents and polygon 74 cents and bitcoin still just sitting in this wedge within the larger structure of this descending uh wedge right here sitting below the june lows so it's definitely going to take something to get back above those levels but let's take a look at some of these charts going on right now. This past week, something happened that has never before happened in Bitcoin's history. The first death cross of the MA2100 on a two-week chart in the history of Bitcoin happened right here. Now, a death cross has got to be bad, right? Could be bad. Never happened before in the life of history, uh, the history of Bitcoin. But the last time it came close to happening, look what happened right afterwards. Okay, so maybe that's not bad, but maybe it is bad because it actually did have a death cross right here. But you know what is bad? This chart right here. I was commenting last week how volatility seemed to be getting low. Every day, charts are going sideways, no up, no down, no nothing. And taking a look at Bitcoin's historical volatility, this is the second time in Bitcoin's history we have had a very nice drop in volatility before a rocketing off of volatility. Drop in volatility, rocketing off of volatility. Well, as surmised in this chart right here, this was the Bitcoin bottom in 2018. Awesome, right? But what they didn't point out is that this giant spike in volatility was actually when Bitcoin price crashed from $6,500 to roughly $3,000 and change, a 50% price drop causing this sharp spike in volatility. So, you know, here's hoping we don't see that same thing happening right now where Bitcoin drops to $8,000 overnight, but it certainly could happen. Now, that we've gotten the bad charts out of the way. Let's get some good charts in there because whether you believe it or not, this is the worst year in Bitcoin's history, the most painful year in Bitcoin's history. If we take a look at the percent supply and profit, now this bright pink line right here is the percent supply and profit of all coins, clearly not the lowest we've ever been. But if you take out the coins greater than 10 years old, you have this dark purple line and this is actually lowest in history lower than 2015, lower than 2019, and also lower than 2020. The most painful time in history if you remove the coins that are pretty much lost or forgotten about or not accessible. So that being said, if you're still in the market, pat yourself on the back. Right now, it appears like recession expectations are peaking. The most anticipated recession in history may already be over. If we take a look at the last times we saw this indicator peaking the net percent saying the recession is likely these were actually the exact bottoms of the market so suggesting that maybe we've already seen the exact bottom of this market not only that but if we take a look at corporate insider sales these have marked pivotal points in tech over the last decade we can see each time we had these turning points as we're seeing right now in insider selling exhaustion we had big rallies to follow. So things could potentially be turning around. Even Willie Wu throwing his hat in the ring, saying that the main question here is how long this accumulation cycle will last. He thinks that it's going to be longer than what we saw in 2019, but shorter than what we saw in 2015. So right now we're getting close to the length of the 2019 one. We still have a ways to go if we're to get near the 2015 one, but still it does eventually come to an end. Now on to the bullish charts. Here we go. Bitcoin has been on a continuous uptrend since its birth. Never failed to hold at this line the Gaussian channel mid-band. Right now we are sitting right there at the Gaussian channel mid-band. This held during the COVID bottom, held during 2015. Bitcoin has never broken below this band. So if it did, that would be something new for Bitcoin. Also, we have a crossover on the 10-day logarithmic MACD. Now each time historically this happened, the bottom was already in. 
Here, the bottom was already in. Here, the bottom was already in. So this time, suggesting, again, the bottom may already be in for Bitcoin. If we take a look at this, has never missed the bottom already being in. Each time the percent supply last active one plus years ago rolled over at the one year change, which is this dotted line right here, if you follow the mouse, each time it rolled over, the bottom has already been in. It just rolled over once again, suggesting, let me finish, the bottom may already be in. Right now we have a huge bullish divergence, which happens when the price comes down and the RSI, the relative strength indicator goes up. The last time we saw this happen, look at the size of that rally. Bitcoin went from about $130 to roughly $70,000 over a few years. We have a massive rally of that same scale happening right now. The price momentum oscillator also echoing this sentiment. You can see if you zoom in right here, it's changing from red to green. The previous times it's changed from red to green. Massive rallies followed in Bitcoin price. So despite some bad things in the beginning, things are looking good because TechDev has shown, at least maybe conclusively or at least it convinced me, that Bitcoin price is more related to the Chinese 10-year than it is to maybe the halving or something along those lines. We can see that as the Chinese 10-year crosses this three-week 20 moving average, each time that has happened has marked a nice cycle for massive gains in Bitcoin's price. Well, we just have that happening once again, suggesting we might have some very, very interesting gains, maybe a new all-time high rise for Bitcoin's price. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Happy New Year. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. Never gonna give up.